Look at this, eh? That's, that's how you know you had a good day. <laughs> Everybody, holy crap, it's been a little while since doing a full on moto vlog. I'm here at um, Mount Disappointment. We're in Mount Disappointment, and what a name of a place, eh? Um, I've got some lads behind me, and we're just gonna go for a cruise through some trails because I have not even taken this thing off road without luggage on. Look, no luggage, no pennies, and it feels like a complete different machine. And the last time I went off road was on the Scrambler. Which, which was, you know, we all know how that went. How the hell do I get myself in these situations, hey? <laughs> Far out, I should have gone back the way we came because I knew the, knew the path. That was a mistake. So the aim of the game today is just to have a bit of fun. Um, have a bit of fun on some trails, nothing crazy. Oh, shizer. <laughs> no problem though, on the scrambler, that would have died. We're just gonna go front cam, into 360, maybe a bit of a drone. However, if you're after some sweet external camera angles without packing a big bulky tripod, then I highly suggest checking out Quadlock's new tripod selfie stick. Let's take a closer look. The Quadlock tripod selfie stick is a versatile accessory that combines a tripod and a selfie stick, allowing users to take stable photos and videos from various angles. The tripod selfie stick is designed to work with Quadlock's phone cases and mounts, which feature a painted and two-stage locking system that securely attaches the phone to the stick. This locking mechanism allows for a quick and easy attachment and detachment of the phone from the tripod, making it super convenient to use. The tripod selfie stick is also adjustable with the head allowing for a 270 degree articulation with a telescopic pole providing users with a wide range of shooting angles. Once you're done, the tripod selfie stick folds down into a compact size that fits easily in the palm of your hand. Pack the tripod selfie stick in a large pocket or bag and lock your phone back onto your bike so you're always ready to capture the next moment. Grab the Quadlock tripod selfie stick today with 10% off using code MOTORFUELS at checkout or by hitting the link in the description below. Thank you so much Quadlock for sponsoring today's adventure. Oh my god, I'm so fun with this. This is drifting for bloody adventure bikes. Oh, I lost everyone. 13 degrees, man. Perfect, perfect weather. It's not too hot. It's actually nice and fresh. This is stunning. Everyone's here. Yeah, like, oh, what? It's telling me to go through there. Really? Is there, like, is there a trail? <laughs> I gotta take this off. It just came loose. Take this off. Bloody just flapping around everywhere. Yeah, these top bars on the T7s, man, they just, as soon as you go off road, they just bounce around like crazy. That's better. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. There he is. Tell you what, it's a different beast without all the gear on. So good. So we're just doing this first, getting a feel for our bikes. We'll warmed in a little bit before we start hitting some more. Oh shit! <laughs> before we start hitting some more technical stuff. There we go. More technical stuff. We got Antonio. He's the guy in front of us. Um, apparently he's a madman. <laughs> uh, I only just met him this morning. He's got like a. He's got a Vespa, he's full on Italian, he's got a Vespa that like, just rips apparently. Love to see some of that in the future. Um, then we got Lachlan, he's on the DR. Um, so Richard, who you guys have met on the other T7, he did a course, he did a full on ADV course, which I'm booked in to do as well um, in May, which is gonna be pretty sick. And um, he met Lachlan, which is the other guy on the DRZ and uh, so he, he's tagging along as well just to get some practice up oh that's a big one ah oh, i felt the shocks fully compressed just then so richard got his shocks done and he swears by it and that's the first time i just felt like a i felt i needed it oh this car oh four drives eh happy bloody days 
Oh my god. Wowzers. Okay, so. Yeah, full drive club. I mean, it's a Saturday. This is why I don't really. Oh crap. This is why I really, really don't usually go out on Saturdays or weekends because it's so damn busy. Stopping. Hells yeah. That was wicked. That was wicked. Oh, f. Man, what is this place? This place is crazy. <laughs> He's just, he just, it's like a big kid. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Oh, Shiza. Oh, he's off. He's down. You good? Yeah, good. Oh, the log. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Yeah, the boys. It's a diagonal boy, hey. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the idea. He's a slippery bastard, eh? Hey? Uh, I'll give a crack and put my goggles on here and, uh, because <laughs> I'm going to pop the front wheel up here. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh, another campsite. Oh, this is a campsite. This is wicked. Wow. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it does, I think. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's pretty dense, though. <laughs> He's going for it. See you, mate. <laughs> Just gave us a hand. I love it, he just can't sit still, hey. He's full of caffeine. How good is this for a camp spot, man? This is wicked. Definitely coming out here again, 100%. This is, this is the most cooked, oh, it looks good. This is how it should look. Um, I'll, go, I'll go over my bike while we're going for a next little rip. Things I've done to it since I've seen you last and, you know, everything that's been happening. Um, the build process is still happening. It's still going. I'm about, I oh mean, probably not even halfway. <laughs> it's just been time. But anyway, I'm going to have something to eat and then we're going to kick it again. Antonio bought bloody everything. Uh, we're going to do a nice, uh, is it a foot long or longer? I think it's longer. That's definitely longer. That's uh, tuna, tomato <laughs> and ham. Tuna, tomato and ham. <laughs> How good is that? And the boys have been kicking it. A few, a few stacks. Um, but we're doing good. I haven't had any. I know, you, gotta, you have to. <laughs> So yeah, that's true, right. You probably stacked it so many times. I say, if you don't stack while trailing, not going hard enough. Thanks so much for lunch, brother. Oh, well, man. Hmm. Bring an Italian, man. You gotta bring one. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll just be eating bloody pr protein bars the entire time. Uh, I also just realized I'm rocking the ND filter. I shouldn't have put the ND filter on, man. On the ice bike, it might be a little bit dark. I'll just boost the ice hole a little bit. Oh, Shiza. Crap. I'm not on cop, so I don't know when we're stopping and stuff. This is the best thing. Holy crap. It's been so long since just riding trails. Ignore the GPS. I put it back on. Tighten everything up. Since the last time, you know, talking about the T7, the stuff I've done to it, that would have been the, the mod video. Uh, and, you know, I moved out of my warehouse. I'm moving into a new place, so getting all set up, still got to make a video on all that. But it's just time, you know, obviously now the build has been pushed back uh, quite a bit, but I'm starting to get things rolling again back with it. I've gotten the Shinkos, the, 80, the E801 and 805s, I think. The, yeah, that's what they're called. Oh, Shiza. Ooh. And they're, um, yeah, they, they dig in, which is way better than the Pirelli Scoparelli STRs in my opinion. Go on, baby. And then a lot of the stuff was all just to get ready for touring, all the Lone Rider gear, we've got the panniers, the moto bags, and they're awesome. Um, working out something with Moscow Moto so that I can do all this sort of stuff and have all my gear with me and uh, not be so worried about 
you know, having panniers sticking out, throwing me off balance and all that. Because this is too good. I just want to do this and then just like, you know, go for a mad camp. And then like I said, yeah, the suspension, it'll, I'll, I'll end up doing it. It's a bit of an investment though, so I'm going to do it when I feel like I'm really well and ready. I want to notice the difference, you know. Oh, shizer. Oh, oh. oh, these things are so good, man. My scrambler, damn it, would be struggling so bad. And watching YouTube and just watching other other riders on these things, man, like the pros, and they ride them stock, and they're just absolutely sh like shredding it up. So, oh. so seeing that just makes me a little bit more confident. And I mean, it's so much better as well just doing it with people. You can just go a little bit harder. If you drop your bike, it's no massive deal as long as you don't hurt yourself still. Um, and when you're by yourself, man, like I do this by myself with all my gear on and all that, and if I drop it, far out, it's just such a mission to pick it up, and especially if you drop it on a bit of a gradient. Oh. These little ferns, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, so fun. I felt it, hey, that back end. <laughs> yeah, I knew exactly what I did wrong. Yeah, I'm good, yeah, yeah. Right. I threw myself off, it's all good. <sighs> that was good. If it starts to do that as it hits the log, sure. and then if you gun it, and the back wheel is sideways on the yeah, log. Yeah, that's exactly what happened, yeah. I heard the f I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> you mind if I try? Yeah, go for it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. You good? <laughs> Yeah, straight, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Do you want me to move, move this way? Oh, you're going around. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's hectic. Yeah, for... Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's a big bike. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why you practice on one of these first and then you go for one of those. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Woo. Frothing. That's a nice little hang. Got stuff doing it with other people. You know, I go camping to get away from people, not to hang out with randoms. <laughs> I mean, each their own. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> what well, is he good? That was a big one, huh? Down here, though. No, I just on my knee. I think he's out completely. Oh, shit. That just that little thing, huh? Crazy. So he's a paramedic, is he? Intensive. Oh, no. Intensive. Yeah, like the helicopter. Oh, serious. Oh, that's handy. And lucky he had a bit of armor as well. Imagine him not having anything. I mean, I've got bloody nothing on it. Fuck out, and I'm riding this thing. I got the right gear for this crap. The The medial the ligaments, med so they're little <laughs> elastic I'm bands that are sit inside your knees in there to, to keep your knees stable like that ball. Yeah, it's in the most tame sort of spot as well, like that's how quick it. Yeah, I know, just nothing, hey. After trying to get a T7 over a massive log and stuff, dropping it and shit. But man, lucky you're here, far out. I'd be like, oh, call the ambulance. I've got no idea. Uh, we actually said that last time, we need to get fucking do something. Yeah, fair state calls, yeah, for sure. Um, Even snake bites and stuff. So we call the ambulance. He's feeling like his knees all damn mushy and stuff, which is hectic. How yeah, handy is it having a bloody well, paramedic on board? Um, is there anything special with this? Oh, this thing's a little ripper, eh? Oh man, eating rocks. 
This is what it's about. I've got to get one of these. And like Lachlan said, I don't know if you guys heard him, but it's, it's just all about making them feel comfortable and making a decision on um, what want to do or whatever. You're not there to reinvent the wheel. Just comfortable, painkillers, keep the swelling down, wrap it up. Crazy. Where is it? Cops are here. Cops are here. Airbase are here. Everyone's here for the party. Yeah, I reckon. Well, I don't know. We're going to get the thing back. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Woo! So, this is it. This is the tiny ass little log, man. It's like the tiniest thing, and he wasn't even going that fast. Stripped all the bark up. It's damp. So, the front wheel just slid right along, and then, you know, fell on him. Pop his knee out. Brutal as. Uh, you know, lesson learned, hey? I'm like, yeah, I was just talking to Lachlan and he's got all the pods set up and everything for his lateral, lateral protection for his knee. I've got nothing, man. I've literally got tiny little knee pads and that's it. Now we know. Look at this, eh? That's, that's how you know you had a good day. Oh. <laughs> Shiza.